Hello parents and welcome to back to school night. Uh, obviously you weren't able to get to back to school night, but uh, I'm Patrick Smith. Uh, I teach government class in uh, period one. I also have a co-teacher, uh, Mrs. Dara Tudor. And in sixth period, I have Miss Diane Schalke. Uh, we'll both be co-teaching those classes with me. If you're listening from third period, uh, I have, uh, it's just me, uh, but it'll be fine. Uh, this is an interesting year for government class. Uh, a lot of things going on. Obviously, it's an election year, so that makes a, a whole big difference. I, I will tell you up front, though, I do, uh, I, as I tell the students, I'm an equal opportunity guy. I make fun of everybody. Uh, I do not take sides. That is up to your children to decide uh, where they stand politically. I try to, I will guarantee to give them both sides of every issue. Um, and I, I'm honest and tell them sometimes there's not always the right answer uh, for their questions uh, when it comes to politics. It's, it's up for them to decide how they feel on these issues. So, uh, it, you know, that leads to a lot of class discussions. Uh, and I encourage that. I encourage the kids to share their ideas. I encourage the kids to respect the other's ideas, uh, even if they're different from their own. And I've uh, been very successful that for the last 15 years. So I can continue, hope to can continue to uh, pull that off uh, with our different discussions. We, we do talk about a lot of controversial uh, things. Uh, we do, we will talk about the election. We will talk about the different politics of both sides, well, all sides of the issue, not just both sides, but uh, every side of political issues. Uh, we will also conquer things. We talked about uh, COVID uh, and should the kids be in the classroom today? Last week we critiqued Methacton. Uh, the good things and the bad things about Methacton High School and their opinions on how to improve Methacton. Uh, we'll talk about things like social injustice, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. We'll talk a lot about free speech. We'll talk about um, uh, drugs and alcohol and uh, th their effects in their lives. We'll talk about improving education. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the other social issues uh, that are going on for them. Uh, we'll talk about uh, you know their ability to protest and uh, and what rights they have. Uh, it's it's a pretty encompassing year. Uh, the, the class is structured obviously around the Constitution and all the ins and outs of the Constitution. We'll be talking about uh, the Constitution itself, uh, all the branches of the Constitution, the election process, political parties, uh, the Supreme Court. We'll spend a lot of time in civil rights and. Uh, civil liberties, and uh, then we're going to spend the last quarter of the year in economics. I'm actually increasing that a little bit this year. Uh, economics, last year the kids were very involved, even after uh, COVID hit and uh, we were not in the classroom anymore. Uh, I actually had an increase in interest by the students uh, learning personal finance, including how to budget uh, their bank accounts, uh, the differences between credit cards and debit cards and paying cash, uh, how to uh, apply for student loans for college, the, uh, how to open a bank account, as well as uh, lo taking out loans and trying to avoid predatory lenders, uh, things to be careful of. And, uh, and then finally, we'll uh, end the year doing a business project where they'll create a, their own business project. Uh, we also have an election project where they run their own election coinciding with the 2020 election so they get to realize what the candidates go through and all of those different ideas. As far as grading in my class, uh, like I tell students on day one, if you do your work and you struggle a little bit on the test, you'll do fine. If you uh, don't do as much work but you do well on the test, you'll do fine. The, the students that I find most struggling uh, in my class as far as grades are students that either, well, that do both neither work nor study for their tests and, and then they, they do find that they are struggling and they do, they do need this class for the year. Uh, but uh, either my co-teachers or myself, we work very hard to make sure that the help is there. Uh, it's a matter of them asking for it and, and we're pretty adamant that they, they ask for help uh, and, and advocate for themselves. Uh, if there's anything you need from me, uh, my email address is psmith at methacton.org. I know the beginning of the year is a little bit crazy, uh, but uh, once everything kind of smooths out a little bit, uh, I, I promise to get back to you, usually within the hour, 
Uh, I will get back to you with a response of some kind uh, with any uh, issues or concerns you may have. You're more than welcome to ask anytime what, what the kids are going over. Ask them. I encourage you to ask them. Discuss these issues with them uh, because uh, a lot of times they, they, they want to talk about these issues, but they don't really know how or uh, in what forum to, to do it. So, uh, again, I, I'm, I know this year is starting off a little strange, uh, teaching out of a box. Uh, it's, it's strange for us as it is for the kids. But uh, if you do have any questions or concerns, again, uh, feel free. And, and if not, I will see you at graduation. And, uh, uh, again, if you need anything, let me know. Thanks, and have a wonderful evening, day wherever we're at.